I got sniped by SST because uh, I went to, if you haven't learned about what SST is, you can check out at sst.dev. And, uh, but actually it helps you deploy basically to AWS without all the friction. Um, there's, I guess, plenty of ways you can go the direct route more with uh, the AWS CDK, I guess, and those other sort of things. But SST kind of extra abstracts a lot of that away. Um, and so they have docs, of course, and I was digging through the docs and I saw some of the examples that they have of frameworks that are based on Nitro, such as uh, Solid JS. Solid Start is based on Nitro. And there's another one. They have an Angular example, too, but it's just for a single page app. Uh, so I was going through here and I actually saw that they had um, an example for Nuxt. Um, so naturally, I looked at the example and tried to see what in the end, in the end, uh, which you, they don't really expose. They don't have like a generic like SSR site deployment type thing uh, to deploy to AWS, like a full stack app. Um, but you can kind of see what they're doing because SST is open source and everything. So I looked at the Nuxt example and then, of course, it's all on GitHub. So I went to, uh, where did I go? Platform. This ended up being a whole rabbit hole and I really like stayed up late digging through all the source code and everything. But what I ended up doing was going to the GitHub, going to source I went to components and AWS and here they have all the, basically all the components that they uh, support um, out of the box. And of course, all these are kind of listed here on the side here. So I went and looked at the Nuxt example, let me make that a little bigger. Um, looked at the Nuxt example and looked at, basically looked at what the output is because they have a lot of the standard uh setup here uh so i went through dug through the source here and try to see where the output goes for the like the build because that essentially is the same thing as what um uh, since it's nitro underneath the out output should be the same you can kind of see here uh that it's output dash public for like the static assets and then output uh server for the server build so what I ended up starting with was the Nuxt component. So I made a copy of that and basically tweaked those two things to match the output for analog. But they, but then I kind of went into the solid start uh, example because I think it was a little more closer to what analog does because I actually check to see if your um, configuration is right and everything uh, because they add a check in here in the nitro.json file to see if you actually have your preset correct to AWS Lambda. Um, so that's what I ended up doing for analog was using the solid start pre solid start component uh, to check to see if you have a AWS Lambda, Lambda in your nitro build output. Cause that way you know that you're using analog but you're using the correct format that it expects. So I started with the TypeScript and then I kind of dug my way through the rest of the, through the application to look through where, like, how do you wire up? Cause they have a way that you can initialize a new, um, initialize a new project with SST. Cause they have a whole CLI and everything. Uh, let's see CLI. So you can run SST and install it and run SST. What you end up doing is running SST init on a new on your project and it'll add the sst configuration there and it'll detect based on what your what your application is what you're doing so like they can detect if you basically like if you have an angular.json uh they can detect that or whatever the stack is for the component that they support so uh, after i got the component working i kind of dug into the the cli side of sst uh, in the, and they have CLI here and I'm trying to remember which folders I kind of went through, but, um, they have some different folders to where they have like the templates for 
the CLI app because CLIs are written in Go. I do remember that part. And then they had some other uh, templates in here for, uh, here we are, I think that's it. Uh, templates for different projects. So it, it'll initialize based on those different templates and the files that it'll drop like in your particular project. Uh, so I went to, I uh, believe it is this init.go file and they have a bunch of uh, presets here that you can, they have things that you can check to make sure that it detects what type of project that you're in. So what I ended up checking was that you're, it's an, the project has a vconfig and it has the analog JS slash platform uh, import inside of it. That way we know you're an analog project and not in a, I guess a regular angular project. So that was part of digging into the, the go side of things. And then they have docs that are written in Astro, uh, but they auto generate a lot of this. So I ended up finding where the, um, kind of where the, they have a long list of the, it may be in here if I remember correctly, uh, a long list of all the components that they support. And they take that list and auto generate it. Uh, from there, this may not be the correct file. I have to look back because I can look back through the PR and find that. But uh, let's see. Add component of analog JS 37. Uh, yeah, I went back through. Yeah, this uh, www generate uh, file here is where I added the analog JS component so that it would generate it for their doc. So it'll end up uh, in this bottom uh, stack here of for a AWS um, projects that you can deploy. So um, yeah, that was my kind of experience digging into SST. Like I said, it was an interesting project because it had a lot of different um, places to contribute and files you had kind of had to update and change to add a new component to SST. So, uh, the PR still out there. Uh, they said they were going to take a look at it to make sure, I guess I didn't have any loose ends there. So, uh, we'll see how it goes, but that was, yeah, that was my, uh, my open source experience with SST and trying to get, uh, an analog component, uh, in with there. Cause I know like AWS, uh, if you want to, I guess put on your big boy pants, uh, <laughs> deploying an AWS is probably on that list. So, uh, that's kind of where, where we went with that. 